The New York Jets, 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 Jets flexed on the NFL yesterday. On Sunday, week six of the NFL season, they went to the Lambeau and they smacked that ass. Aaron Rodgers was thrown around like a rag doll. They were stealing cheese heads off of Packers fans and wearing them. They were just flat out embarrassed talking about the Green Bay Packers. Now the New York Giant or the, the the New York Jets do improve to four and two on the season. So fact or crap, the New York Jets are the biggest surprise of the 2022 NFL season. So when I first saw this, and I first saw it, you know, calm up, I started thinking, you know. There were several teams that we were said they were going to be sleepers this year. Combs and I sat on on here, and we both named the Giants. We thought the Giants could possibly be a 7-8 win team. I believe Combs said the Jets as well. The, he didn't say they were going to be a 7-8-9 win team, but he said they are, they are going to be sneaking up on some people, and they might get four or five wins this season. Right now, they're sitting at four, so he is right, right on par. Nobody thought the Philadelphia Eagles were going to be 6-0. Let's just be honest, honest, honest about it. Nobody thought the Tampa Bay Buccaneers were going to be 3-3 three and three, or the Miami Dolphins be 3-3. Three and three. Every, Like, everybody had them in the Super Bowl. So, when I think of surprise, I think of, of like, wow, they're doing really, really good. Not, not wow, they're doing really, really bad. Just get that crap off the thing there. So, fact or crap, the Jets are the biggest surprise of this NFL season. I don't know why I took the crap down because it is crap. I don't think the Jets are the biggest surprise of this season. I think it comes down to the New York football giants. Yes, we had the Giants at seven, eight, nine wins, possibly. Like I like I said, six was their uh floor and nine was their ceiling. But it's the fact of how the New York Giants are doing it. Because when they got their head coach from the Buffalo Bills, we thought this was going to be an air raid offense. Shaquan Barkley was just kind of going to get thrown out to the Wolves and like, see you later, dude. Daniel Jones wasn't going to be the guy. And they and they were just kind of just going to flutter around and, and like until he got his guys in. When he got his guys in, he'll probably be too late and be gone. But the ball or D-ball, how, however you want to say it. I don't remember. I don't know how you say it, but whatever. He has totally changed the way he has coached. He is arguably the coach of the year. Brian DeBall. Is it D-ball or D-ball? D-E-ball? Let's go to D-ball. He is arguably the coach of the year so far, just out of six weeks of the NFL season they're five and one they beat the Packers they've their only losses to the Cowboys like yes they've had a li- 